What's up guys, I'm Reckless and welcome to Bring the Fourth Wall. It is Friday, November 10th, 2017, and it is week nine of Xur. Xur is located on Nessus by the Watcher's Grave. So we are going to mark him and see what he has in his quickie mark this week. Real quick, huge, huge shout out to everybody who was or still is in the United States Marine Corps because it is the Marine Corps birthday today, so happy birthday, Marines. And I definitely love you guys. You guys are like a second family to me. It's been a long time since I've been in the Marine Corps. I served eight years and five days. Yes, I still count the five days. And yeah, definitely feels good to be uh, part of that gun club. So let's go see what Zer has. Zer! What's up, dude? So, like always, we are going to start with the left-hand side. We have the Prospector, the actual Prospector, not freaking this thing that I called the Prospector for, like, so long in a video that I did for a prosecutor. But anyways, we have the Prospector, which is an art grenade launcher. And trying to perk on this is Excavation, which you hold R2, two fire grenades, released to detonate all live grenades simultaneously. Then we have Volatile Launch, uh, Augmented Drum, Full Auto Trigger System, which obviously holding down the trigger will, will fire this weapon at full auto. And then we have Hand Laid Stock. Now, grenade launchers aren't in the best place at the moment in Destiny 2, so uh, I don't know. Just But I'm just not going to give this a bad rating just because they're not at a good place, but just for the fact that it has full auto definitely makes it a little bit better so we are probably going to give this a tier 2.5 in pve as well as pvp it does have eight rounds in the magazine so you have to kill somebody at least you know um also test everest does have the uh, ornament for it this week so by all means, go ahead and grab that from her if you have a chance to uh, swing by her when you get to the tower. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, as for the next exotic, we have the Foe Tracer for the Hunter class with very good mobility and then a little bit of resilience. In terms of perk on this, a Relentless Tracker, which visually marks targeted enemies, deals more damage to low health marked enemies, and then we have... Uh, plus Steel Reinforcement mod and Restorative mod, and this actually comes with an Energy Bracket mod. So, this is definitely a pretty decent uh, exotic for the Hunter class. I probably would rate it a Tier 2 in PvP, and a, maybe a Tier 2.5 in PvE. Just for the simple fact that you really don't need to mark your targets in PvE, because, you know, ads don't really cause that much of a threat unless you're getting bombarded by them so definitely a good uh, universal exotic for the hunter so definitely go ahead and pick that up next exotic we'll be going over is an insurmountable skull fort for the titan class this is a blast from the past it actually is a reskin of the destiny 1 version and tragic perk on this is transfusion matrix which kills with arc melee abilities trigger health regeneration and restore melee energy then we have Mobility Enhancement mod, as well as a Restorative mod. And then we also have Arc Impact mod as well on this. Now this is definitely a good exotic for the Titan class, and I'm probably going to uh, rate it a Tier 2 in PvE as well as PvP. Um, definitely you guys can get should get this if you guys do not have one. Um, there's really not much to say. You know, as long as you get those uh, Arc Melee kills, with uh, obviously with your ability active, then you know you get the effect of this at all times yeah so by all means go ahead and pick that up next exotic we are going to go over is eye of another world for the warlock has a little bit of mobility and twice as much recovery in terms of perk on this is cerebral uplink which highlights priority targets and improves the regeneration speed of your grenade melee and rift abilities then we have mobility enhancement mod restorative mod as well as impact absorption mod Real quick, if you are a Warlock, you can get this for free if you choose it when you get your first exotic. 
So I don't see a point in buying it and wasting 23 um, legendary shards. However, if you don't have it and you pick something else, yeah, by all means, go ahead and grab it. But I feel that the Karnstein armlets as well as the Nazarek Sin are two exotics that are way better than the Eye of Another World. It is obviously all situational, and I apologize for all that background noise. My dog is playing with an empty bottle. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so I definitely would use the Karnstein armlets or the Nazarek Sin any day over Eye of Another World. I still have it just in case I actually change my mind, but yeah, that's... Uh, Mm, that's what I pretty much feel about it. As for rating, I probably would rate it a 2.5 in PvE as well as PvP. So definitely by all means, you know, if you guys don't have it, grab it anyways. And if you guys don't have those other exotics that I did mention, by all means grab this anyways. Once again, I do greatly apologize for the background noise as well as happy birthday Marines. And that fellow Guardian brings us to the end. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, share it, and if you have any... And that fellow guardians brings us to the end of the video. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like. And that fellow guardians brings us to the end. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, share it, and if you have any ideas for a future video, then let me know in the comments below. Feedback is always appreciated. Subscribe and turn on notifications for more Destiny content. Thank you guys for all of your support. And remember, less guns doesn't mean less crime. And I will see you guys next time.